Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Damian Maynard. I have a special report for you this evening, and it includes uh, Dakota Access Pipeline amongst not just the uh, indigenous camp of uh, Ossetic, uh, um, Ossetic uh, camp, but um, but of all of the areas that they're going through. This is um, a massive um, undertaking that they have taken on. And um, it's hard to even come come to you with this because of how how huge it is and what implications it holds for not just uh, not just the indigenous people of, of North Dakota that are fighting this, but also everyone that's along the pipeline route. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to show you some proof this evening of, um, of what they are doing and what they are planning. And this information, by the way, comes uh, via a... Um, couple of, of people actually a, a scientists that used to you used to work for the USGS that brought this information to me so I just want everyone to know that I do stand with the indigenous people I do stand with the American public and this is a, an, a very imperative message for people to hear um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start this thing. I have uh, also with me to, this evening, Lori Alexander, and she ha she's got some information also about uh, North Dakota that I, I had not previously been privy to. So I'm just glad that, uh, that we have it. How are you this <laughs> evening, Lori? I'm doing good, Jamie. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Um, awesome. Yeah, this is this is a story that we've been putting together for quite a while. You know, um, like with everything you've been talking about the last few shows, we've taken our time and we've looked at it and we've researched it and we've made sure that our I's are dotted and our T's are crossed on all of this. Absolutely. Well, so some of this uh, very recently handed over information um, could potentially be sensitive. Um, so just bear that in mind when we're going through all this. Um, not not sensitive to to you or I, or but sensitive to the people who are trying to cover this up. So. It's I, I think super important that, that people know this though. And the Absolutely. fact is that I I believe and this this person who I who I will not uh, I will not give out my source because um, she's already afraid of putting some of this out. Yeah, she's already afraid of the repercussions of this, which I can, after looking through the information, I could totally see why. Absolutely. So, um, I will, um, huh, I will start out by saying that this is vetted information. This is stuff that um, you can look up for yourself and I, I will actually provide the documentation in my um, in my description and um, and I'll also be posting it in chat for for the chatters that come on this evening I'll be posting it in the chat also so that you can go verify this for yourself don't take my word for it go okay. verify it for yourself All right. Do your own due diligence. Don't ever take our word for anything. 
Right. You know, we provide the links for you guys to go and look and research and, uh, you know. And there's a ton to research. So if, if you're looking at this, um, if you're watching this show and um, you're wondering if, if any of this is true, by all means, go look at this. Prove, prove it to yourself by watching and looking and, and reading it for yourself because the implications of this are, are quite damaging to uh, not only the pipeline, but this has also been traced back to the Clintons. It's been um, traced back to some other government officials. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and, um, do this. and get on with this. So I will be turning off my camera so that we can go ahead and go through these things and show you um, not only with Ooh, what is that again? <laughs> okay, so Hello, when I say <laughs> oh God. I know somebody's watching tonight and yeah, I'm wondering how long they'll actually allow my video to stay up. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my main concern right there. How long is my video going to stay up? How long will it stay up? So, um, let me go over here to where we were chatting and, uh, there we are. Um, I will share this first because, um, oh wait, I'm in the wrong chat there. So this is the first, this is the first of the, um, maps that I'm going to show you. And Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh oh. Okay. Which one? Okay, so this is the planned outline for the um, this is the planned outline for the pipeline okay planned outline for the pipeline it runs from North Dakota through South Dakota and Iowa to Illinois okay and then back down to Texas through these areas and I don't know if I'm presenting to everyone, so I should. Let me see for one second. Let me check the chat. Room. Yep, we've got it. Good. Okay. So along this area right here, and all of these areas through here, are high density uranium. Okay. This is what we're going to be discussing this evening: uranium. It's the same reason that the Bundys were being tried to uh, be forced off their land. Uranium. It's the same thing that they were, that the Clintons sold to Russia from Oregon. Uranium. This is the huge deal with the pipeline right here. Okay, and I'm going to prove it to you. stop presenting for a moment so I can go through and look at this stuff without where's the last map I sent you right there hold on I've got it over here too I've got it in a couple of different areas 
Where's that map? Which one is it? You sent me 14 maps, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's, <laughs> I told you, yeah, there's a super freaking I don't know which huge, one you're looking for. There's, there's 14 a super here. freaking huge amount of information here. Okay, that's the point. Yeah. And um, it's this one, this one here. Okay. I'll go ahead and share again. All right. I'm gonna have an overlay done of this later. Not I don't have I don't have the overlay done yet. But as you can see, the proposed pipeline, the pipeline that they have laid out, these are radon potentials across the states that they're uh, across the whole United States. But the majority of the of the um, high amounts of, of radon, of radiation, of uranium are through these areas that that we just talked about. Are the yellow or the purple? The purple. See, okay. uh, low is the, the pink stuff. Yellow is moderate, um, variable amounts and uh, the purple are high amounts. So if you take these two maps and actually I have them all across the bottom here so I can actually show you um, between them. Where is the other one? Here it is. Is this it? This one? Yeah, there it is. So you can see through North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, Ohio. Is that Ohio? Or Iowa? That's Iowa because Iowa. it's on the other side of Nebraska. Okay, so North Dakota, Iowa, South Dakota, Iowa, into, into Southern Illinois. And into Illinois. So, and then you drop down and you go through here on, on this little this little curve right here that goes across the top of Louisiana. And if you look, all of these areas are, are high, high right. amounts of, of uranium. This is yeah, right straight through to right straight through to Illinois. Yep. All the way. And then yep. it comes across here and these are low amounts. But the thing is that, um all throughout this whole top area well we were wondering why they swung it so far east yes well, that's why because they're hitting all these major areas all these major areas of high right uh, high potential um high deposits yes it's not about oil folks it's about uranium Uranium brings way more money per pound than oil ever will. Not to say that the pipeline won't be used for oil, but it's, you know, it's it's a front. It's just like everything. It's you know? Absolutely. It's, it's a front for what they really are trying to do, which is to mine all this uranium. Yeah, you know, I was always looking at the the, the uh, path that the, the pipeline took, and I was always wondering why they swung it so far east. Yep. You know, I mean, I understand the terrain is a little bit smoother and it's, it's, uh, uh and as you can see, this is a USGS map. It's crazy. Okay. Here's another map of uranium concentrations. These are very high concentrations in the West. And then these are probably, they, and this is known, you know, so where they're getting high rate on here, then they may not show it on this map, but it's still 
pretty good amounts of, of radon and uranium that they've got going through here as shown on the other map. Right. And the and another pipeline that's running, Keystone Pipeline, runs down through here. And both pipelines meet at the same place in Texas. Bam. Right. And the Keystone Pipeline, I believe, is a front for something else, too. Absolutely. Like, and, and it's uranium. I'm telling you, right now it's uranium. It's uranium, but also, you know, the information that I found, it runs par completely parallel to where the, the Keystone Pipeline is. Well, the, the, oh, yeah, yes, it does. Yes, I believe it does. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's not so pertinent here. But this one is, this one's very pertinent to what you're talking about. These are uranium recovery facilities that are already licensed. And these are uranium recovery facilities where they will, um, they'll break it down and make it into refined uranium. That's what these places do. Right, and the, and the dot that you show on South Dakota is right around Lead, South Dakota. And that is where they have found that there is now they they're well, it's it's not that they have found it. It's been years. It's been a few years since they found um, dark matter there. A very large amount of dark matter at that. A very large amount of dark matter there. Absolutely. Yes. <clears throat> but this runs right through there, right through that area, not very far away from. <laughs> all these recovery centers. So, I am looking for this other map. And I, I've got another show lined up for some of the other maps that I have. And see, there's a recovery, there's a recovery center uh, in in uh, Nebraska right here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, the the yellow dot right there in South Dakota between the the NE and the SD. Right. Right above the line, right there is is the one that's closest to the one in Lead, uh, South Dakota, where, like I said, where they found the large amounts of uh, dark matter. Dark matter. Yep. So those of you who are fighting the pipeline, uh, you're not just fighting a pipeline. Don't think for a second. No, you're fighting. You're, you're not even. You're not even fighting this government. You're fighting other governments because you know the, we know that the U U.S. has pretty much sold the land rights for the with the uranium over to Uranium One, which is you know pretty essentially Russia. Right. Well, and this, like I said, can be traced back to the Clintons. And that right. I'll, right. I'll show in another show. Um, this show is more to uh, bring awareness to the fact that this is what's being done. And I guess I wasn't sharing that, was I? Um, nope. I thought you were. Nope. It wasn't letting me, which is weird. <laughs> There. Oh, there you go. Look, so I see it there. Here are here are the maps that I was showing, but um, again, we have large amounts of uranium throughout the West and throughout these areas that the the pipeline is running through, and even this pipeline, the Keystone Pipeline, comes down through here, and there's a, an extremely amount, uh, extremely large amount of um, of uranium right in the, the area that K 
Keystone comes straight down through to Texas. So, bam, right there, that whole area is covered in uranium. And it's not far away from those refineries either. They're not, no, no, no. They're not going to call it a refinery, but that's exactly what it is. It's a uranium refinery. Right here. Bam. Hmm. Not only that, but uh, we have some other documents which I'm gonna have to stop this again and where did my where did my documents go I had them all lined up up here hold on I'll grab them back <laughs> oh, so this is, uh, yeah, this is some heavy stuff. And you can think speculatory if you like. That's fine. Um, I'm going to put these in the chat. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, we can get people in the chat because this is um, it's where I post all the information and whatnot. And... Um, I'm going to post these documents into the chat as we go along because these are these are the most important some of the most important parts I think of of this whole story is the the proof that goes along with it okay these are I'll show this one first because um, because I feel this is one of the more important ones this is these are all the new uranium projects that they have going on it's a quite a long list these are for South Dakota and I'll be, I'll be receiving some more here soon but it says here it quotes uranium mining in South Dakota is being opposed by the defenders of the Black Hills Action for the Environment and Clean Water Alliance. Okay, this runs right along with DAPL. Hmm. Right. So they have... Um, they have... Um, applied for new mining permits in South Dakota through all of these uh, through all of these counties uh, Dewey County or De Dewey Burdock Pro Project in Custer County and Fall River County um, and like I said I, I'll post all these in the description box and and all in in the chat so that people can go look at this because it's a massive amount of of information it really is and um, it would be an exorbitant amount of time to try and 
uh, to try and read it all on air. But um, the Ogallala Sioux are involved in this. Um, any nation that lives on any lands within this country is being put at risk. And when, when we go over to the other, the uh, decommissioned or decommissioning projects, which was just uh, just updated uh, last month, it was updated. But all of these are alluding to the fact that uh, that they don't care about what we think. That's what it comes down to. It doesn't care what the, the indigenous think. It doesn't matter what the people of America think. They want this uranium and they're going to mine it regardless. Right. That's why, that's why these judges are allowing Dakota Access Pipeline to go through. That's why the government is pressing Donald Trump to seek um, eminent domain on these lands. And I would urge people to, uh, if you're watching, share this, share this now while we're still talking about it, while this video is still playing, because it may not stay up. They may not allow this to stay up. So I would urge everyone that's watching, if you're watching, to share this. Bring the indigenous people here. Let them come watch. Make sure that they know that this is not about oil. Make sure that they know that this is not about a pipeline. It is, it is, but it's not at the same time. This is not about an oil pipeline. This is about the uranium that they want to mine. And that uranium, after it's mined, will leach into the ground and it will further destroy the earth. That is what this really comes down to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. While it's not being touched, it's it's not having an effect so so profoundly as it will once they start disturbing it. Do we know what uh, the effects? I mean, okay. Do we <laughs> the effects of radiation? No. Do we? But I mean, do we know like when they start refining it? What are the uh, what are the dangers there? I mean, I mean, it's got to be like, is it protected like a nuclear power plant? No. No, it's not. Absolutely not. Right. I mean, they're not. Even, they're not even protecting these these uh, these plants. No, they're not, and they're not. Um, they're not regulated, like. Right, that, that, there you go. That's yes. that was the word I was looking for. Yeah, they're not even regulating it. I'm getting really bad feedback. I'm going to drop out and come right back in. All right. I hate I hate doing this because I can never get back in. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send you this. What about the turtles? Yeah, <laughs> turtles can live in whatever. Turtles can live in whatever. Trust me. I used to go to the mountains all the time and there would be like this stink pond and there's turtles living in it. Trust me, they can do anything. Seriously. Okay, I'm going to send you this. You see that? Already? Are you sending me? Um, yes. Okay. Gotcha. And that's the, that's the, well, that's the page I'm on. I don't use Google when I go look for stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't use Google for important stuff. 
Known facts and hidden dangers of uranium mining. Right. I'm going to throw this in the chat room. You guys can take a look. No, I just pulled up. I went to another page. I saw something. I saw something shiny. Oh, did you? The shiny I did. trinket. The shiny trinket. Yeah, I saw shiny shiny trinket got me. Um, oh, what the hell? Yeah. So this is huge. This is absolutely huge. This is the big thing that we have been talking about that they're hiding. This is why this is why everything came out when it did about the emails, about Pizzagate, about everything. This is way bigger than any of that. I will guarantee you. In 2007, and I've got this somewhere here. I'll find it real quick. In 2007, uranium was worth $72 a pound. And I will, like I said, I have to find this because I have, I have stacks of freaking information on this. So. <laughs> You started throwing them at me. I was like, ah. I, I asked you if you were ready for the flood. That's <laughs> exactly what, what I meant. <laughs> what are you talking about flood? All of a sudden, ding, 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 ding. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Hour later, yeah. did you read it all? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I did not ask if you read it all. Like, did you? So did no, you I, I did all? ask if you had read any of any of the uh, re yeah. reports. Uh, yeah, the report. Did you read any of it? No. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking insane the amount of. I mean, I I got sent all of this yesterday or this morning, so I haven't even gotten through all of it. I haven't. Uh, it's just. This is just the first round of the of shows on this because. You've got a bunch of stuff coming from your scientist friend too. So. Uh, yeah, here's here's one of them that puts uh, the puts the bushes in and um, this links Bush to the Bin Ladens. And uh, again, I will um, put this in in the chat and also in the description box when I'm done. So um, this this links the oil company to to the Bin Ladens, but um, but again the implications of the uranium mining are are much more overwhelming than any of that. And you know um, we don't hear mainstream media doesn't talk about uranium. They're not all. going I to. I mean we you know that uh, you know it. <laughs> I don't know. The, the American people don't even know even know how uranium works. I'm trying to find the paper. I mean, uranium mining is the key uh, to nuclear weapons. Ah, uh, here it is. It, you know, I'll, it's it's. I'll even show it because I don't want people to think that I'm talking out of my ass. I don't. So here. And I would urge people to maybe um, pause it and take a little time to read um, the whole page if if you could. And again, um, there is a link if you want to uh, if you want to get this link. Which one is it? Sorry, it's www.dmr.nd.gov. Uh, uh, forward slash NDGS 
forward slash uranium maps forward slash PDF. Uranium. Wait a minute. U R A N uranium maps slash PDF slash G one dash four zero R E V dot PDF slash G one slash R E V dot PDF. If not, it's on the screen, isn't it? Can you see? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't get it. <clears throat> Can you see it on the screen? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll, um, I will. Just send me the link. I, you have it. I do. Okay. Hold on. I, I'll copy and, and paste it again. Oh, wait. Oh, that ain't it. <laughs> I can't do it on here the way I, okay. I would. Hold on. Just okay. a minute. But I'll I have it in our chat. Uh, yeah, it's in the chat. It's a, it is the, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the ninth box down. It's the, cause I sent you eight boxes. You said the eighth box earlier, the eighth map right oh, after okay. that eighth map is the, um, is the dean uh, the thing okay but uh anyway oh, back to what i was saying um let me bring this back up again It says, current market price for uranium. In January 2007, the spot market price for U308, which is the scientific term for uranium, was $72 per pound as compared to $21 in January of 2005 and $9.60 in January 2002. This dramatic price increase is a result of the shortfall of uranium between what the 435 nuclear reactors operating in the world need and what is currently being produced. The shortfall, which equates to 70 million pounds of uranium per year, has been made, made up by depleting stockpiles that were built up during the last boom cycle and by conversion of nuclear weapons both of which are diminishing. Projections show this shortfall steadily increasing in the future. As a result, for the first time in 28 years, there is a renewed interest in North Dakota's uranium deposits. Is that interesting or what? Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Well, the money. The money's there, and it is an all-time high. 2007 is when it was $72 per pound. Let's see what it is today, shall we? Mm. 
Well, they're saying it's gone down. They're saying, oh, hey, look at this. This is, oh. <laughs> Energy and capital. This is from quite some years ago, though. But they were forecasting it to be for $500. But, uh, what what is friday you know but, it, but again you can't guess. I mean, pricing of things of gold of silver of you know even you know your stock price your stock market that's all padded right um depictions of the prices pricing anyways <clears throat> no they're not uh but I'm, i just want to give people a general idea of what it's of what of what it's worth and it is says this doesn't give an accurate number how much did they say it was they're not giving per ounce they're not giving a number in 2007 now, it was how much was it back in 2007 72 dollars a pound 72 dollars a pound yeah wow okay as of december 13th the uranium spot market price is 61.75 per pound reported by uxc uranium consulting up 29 percent i'm seeing two different prices here huh i'm seeing two different prices i've got um on the ux consolidating trade tech four dollars and fifty cents us per pound january 30th 2017 and i'm also seeing that uranium is at the current price of 95 dollars per pound split um see now i would tend to believe that price more because yeah. because of this reason right here and i'll show you yeah i'm seeing I'm, two different prices here and two different and it's the same page that i'm looking at uranium prices mark and invest cameco um but they're giving the the pellet pellet price is 95 dollars per pound and the other price for us ux consolidating is 24.50 well maybe us consolidating actually is the the type of um company who sells to private people like you and I I can buy uranium you can buy uranium I don't you want your order uranium. you can order yellow cake uranium you can it's not hard <laughs> just saying it's excuse me Mr. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no sci scientists do it quite often for um yeah well you but you or i could could order a, a small amount of unrefined uranium when i get around to that part of my 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 nuclear bomb that i'm making i'll uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind good god who buys uranium and where would you buy uranium i am looking oh let me for... get, let me get what I bet you I could buy it on Craigslist. I'm sure you could. Sure you could. Pause it. I am looking for one of these in particular. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, wrong way. Oh, wrong way. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I had one earlier. Oh, it's not going to be in yours at all. Hold on. Oh, so you got a secret 
chat going on, huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, with my other person. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. But I find it very interesting that uh, here it is. Here it is, right here. You can see that price or uh, that the amounts of quarterly production of uranium have gone down um, quite dramatically in in the first quarter of, of last year we don't have anything for this year but this is this is for last year and of course their their quarterly report wouldn't even be ready for this year um, but you can see it went down by almost half uh, of their production of uranium concentrate um, this this last year in the first quarter and then in the third and fourth quarters they don't even give you a total but over the course of time uh, from 2014 to or yeah from 2014 to 2016 their production went down dramatically it's because they don't have anything to mine well they kind of yeah can you see that? Or is everybody I seeing that? I, I, um, I just I accidentally X'd out of the chat. Hold on a second. I, I want people to be able to um, to see it so that they know that I'm not um, yanking their chain here. And this is from the U.S. Energy Information Administration. So, again, it's a United States government entity that you're getting this information from it's not not some um from some foreign place or anything like that uh, and it's not i'm not trying to yank your chain here so the the stuff that i'm presenting to you is fact there's no speculation about this okay and i'm i just want people to know that Everything that I'm showing you comes from the government. It's not. It's nothing that you can't go find. Well, some of it might be stuff you can't find for yourself. Um, I'm not going to say that because I don't have links for some of this stuff. Some of it has been just sent to me in screenshot form, and um, and I know that the person that I was talking to was afraid to come. And talk to me but she did because uh, because she wants people to know so here I am and this is what I'm doing say what yeah we're not seeing anything right now just seeing a blank screen a black screen Oh, how is that? Let me see. How's that? Screen with your cursor moving. What the bullshit? See? No, really, That's really, what I'm really saying. That's what I'm saying. I can see your cursor moving. No, I don't care about the cursor. Um, no, you don't. I'm just saying there's no picture there. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and... what? Hold on. Ha. Huh. Maybe I got it. There. Oh, wait. What the hell? Hold on. I'm going to pull it up again and uh, pull the chat out and try to present this again. Okay. There. There we go. Let me make sure it's in the chat room.
Yeah, I should be watching the chat so I know what's going on in there, huh? I got it all open. I'm not seeing anything yet. Hold on a minute. No, you stopped sharing now. What? Oh, maybe it's because, hold on. That is insane. Because I know I can flip from screen to screen. I, I know I can. Right? Right. Yeah. That's not it. There you go. There you go. That's not what I was showing. Right, but I mean, at least we can see it now, so. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's not what I'm trying to show. Back to a blank screen. Yeah. I'm, um, yeah, right? That's bullshit. Um, there it is. Oh. There we go. So this is the quarterly report from 2013 to 2016. And you can see how dramatically the numbers dropped from 2014 to 2016. Wow. And they won't even give you the numbers for the third and fourth quarter. And I'm wondering why. Right. Okay, gotcha. Oh. Yep. Crazy, isn't it? Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, now, why would they have so much interest in North Dakota? Because North Dakota has a ton of uranium. That's why. That's why they won't go around uh, um, the – that's why they won't go around the um, – Standing Rock Reservation. That is why. That is exactly why. So, that being said, uh, let's show some of the other maps, shall we? Or we showed most of the maps, but but there are people coming in now that that weren't uh, weren't here before. So I just want people I want to make sure that people understand that this. Let me go over here and screen share again. And the only reason that I'm not uh, screen sharing some some of this stuff is because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not bouncing. <clears throat> so, again, uh, this is the uh, the URL you can go to to look at this. Okay, um, it's https uh, colon forward slash forward slash www dot dmr dot nd dot gov forward slash ndgs forward slash uranium maps forward slash pdf forward slash g1 dash four zero rev dot pdf and it will go through in this entire thing, which I can't, um, I can't make this bigger, this screen bigger because I don't have that capability anymore. But it shows all of these areas of interest and 
hey, go go look at it for yourself. Uh, this this map was done in uh, 2007. This whole report was done in, in 2007. And um, it just took them this long to gain access to the land. And if you think they're going to give it up without a fight, you are wrong. Because this is way, way, way more um, monetarily rewarding for them than the oil. In the long run, absolutely it is. Yeah, well, their uranium is depleting and they want more. And we know how our government is. People don't realize that oil and gas, they think it's, in, it's a finite resource. It's not. It's an infinite resource. Absolutely. Because you know, the government has us thinking, oh, we, you know, we're in a, an oil shortage or a gas shortage. It's an infinite resource. No, it's, or it's a finite resource. No, it's not. It's an infinite resource. Yeah, we have tons. I mean, I mean it, oil is produced by the earth. It's produced by and the it's earth. not produced by the dinosaurs. No, it's pro and they won't tell you that. They won't explain to you how it's produced, will they? No, it's produced inside the earth. That's because they want us to, you know, be afraid. It's that more fear mongering for us. You know, oh my God, we're we're having a fuel shortage. You know, we gotta we gotta stock up. I mean. Look at the the the, uh, the gas shortages of the '80s. That was all manufactured. That wasn't even real. Right. Well, look at what they do to us during hurricanes and things like that. Exactly. It's ridiculous how people line. You should have seen people line up for gasoline before a hurricane. And you you know what? I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need to fuel up. I'm staying <laughs> right at home. In my brick house. Right. And actually, I stay in my glass house because I like to throw stones. Just come on, kidding. Hurricane. Come on, bring it. Just kidding. Ugh. The whole fact of the matter is this is the real reason why they're doing what they're doing uh, in North Dakota. It is what they're doing in many other places like Ohio or, or Iowa. Was it Iowa? Um, where they're forcing people to allow them to go through their land. So uranium is the big deal. It's not an oil pipeline, folks. It is the oil pipeline. Don't get me wrong. They want to run their oil. But it's much, much deeper than that. They can't mine this uranium unless they run the pipeline. Now, are these are they taking the land through eminent domain? That's what they want Donald Trump to do, and he is not okay. uh, he's not going for it. At this point, he has not gone for it. So far. So far, yes. And I do have more information coming my way. This is just the, a small amount of information that I've been able to get so far. But, the, but believe me, when you start digging into these sites uh, that I've provided, it's not a small amount of information at all. Not at all. It includes um, Ambrosia Lake, um, Bear Creek, Belfield Mine, Belfield Tailings, the Bighorn Canyon, Black Hills, Blue Water, Boken Mountain, Bowman, um, Burns, right here, Burns and Moser, Bruni, Burrell, Butterfly. Word again. Burns. Yeah, Burns and Moser. Yeah, which are like 
right next to each other counties. Uh, Canyon City, um, Cannonsburg, Cave Hills, Christensen Ranch, Rock Hill Mill, Clay West, Cotton Hill, Cottonwood Canyon, and that's, I believe, in Idaho, if I remember right. Um, Crooks Gap, Crow Butte, Darrow, uh, Delona, Durango, Dorita, Edgemont, Falls City, uh, Fernald, Ford, Freeze Out, Gas Hills, um, Gas Hills North, Grand Junction, Grants, uh, Grace Hill, uh, Green Mountain, Green River, which is in Utah, um, Gunnison, well, it's on the Green River, is like on the Wyoming Utah border, uh, Highland, that's Exxon owned. Wow. Uh, or Exxon is running their stuff through there, it says. Um, PRI, Highland, Height, Hobson, Holiday, Ir uh, Irrigary, um, Jack Pyle, Paguate, uh, JJ number one. I'm going to have to look more into that El Bar Mine Cibola County New Mexico and each of these uh, places that I have named off which were not done Juniper Lam Labyrinth Canyon Lakeview Lamprecht uh, El Bar Mine El Bar Mill Lisbon Mill and some of these are closed down um, mines already, um, mm -hmm. but they they're set, this is uh, in decommissioning projects, which was again uh, updated the twenty fifth of two thousand seventeen. Um, Loman, Lucky uh, MC, Maybell, Maybell West, Mexican Hat. Midnight, Moab, Monticello, Monument Valley, Mount Lucas, Natarita, Navajo Indian Reservation, Niagara Falls, Northeast Church Rock, O'Hearn, Orphan, Palanga, Pawnee, Pigeon, Rifle, Riley Pass, Riverton, Salmon River, San Rafael Swell, Section 27, where Section 27? New Mexico again. Uh, Sherwood, Shiprock, and Shiprock is in uh, New Mexico too, I believe. Yep, I'm, I've been through Shiprock. That's how I knew that. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Where to go? Shirley Basin. So maybe all of these in, are. No, I know all, not all of these are in New Mexico. Um, Shirley Basin South. Shootering Canyon. Skyline. Slick Rock. Split Rock. Spook. St. Anthony. Tex One. Uh, Tex One is in Texas, of course. Triangle, Tuba City, Yerevan, West Cole, White Canyon, Willow Creek, and Zamzow. Now, these are all leaching projects. Abandoned uranium mining cleanup campaign to be announced on Earth Day. But again, that's where the Black Hills are, and uh, they're, they're fighting the uranium mine. So a warning to all our indigenous peoples, do not give up the fight uh, against DAPL because uh, this, is, this is what they're doing. And any other 
uh, any other pipelines that want to be run and, and any other uh, crazy ideas that they have to run anything or or uh, dig anything out of your ground if uh, if they start mining this uranium you you think you have problems with some oil it's going to be an absolute tragedy You make it back, Lori. Oh, maybe I lost her. Wow. Okay, maybe I lost her. Um, but this is this is the, what's really going on. This is not about oil. This is about the uranium that they're trying to pull out of the ground. And they don't want to tell you they're pulling uranium out of the ground because again, when they start uh, when they start mining the uranium, it's going to leach into the ground and further uh, mess up the water. So I'd like people to pay attention to this and I'll be doing an, another show when I have, uh, when I have things a little bit more um, in line, but I, I wanted to bring it to people's attention so, so that they are, are aware of what's going on. And, um, Stand up to the tyranny that's in your area. Don't give up. There's 300 tribes fighting this. Don't give up. And if you if, if you are listening to this and you're an American, and even if you're not an American, uh oh. Question things. Australia is going through the same thing with uranium mining. And I'll be doing a show on that too. Be, and, but I'll have uh, one of my guests from Australia come on uh, to speak about that. Oh, no. What is going on here? Here we go. Wow. So, um, I will bring you more information as it's uh, as it's given to me. And like I said, I will, I will post all the information, um, less the maps in uh in the chat and in the um in the disc description box excuse me uh because i don't obviously have a way to um to provide the maps to you in in that uh area but if you message me um privately or if you um email me uh, my email is uh, walk for the fallen, W A L K F O R T H E F A L L E N at uh, gmail dot com. I'll I'll be happy to uh, to show you that um, the the maps. Uh, I can send you a copy of them or whatever, and um, you can look for yourself. It's uh, it's much easier when you can pull in them, pull them up and, and enlarge them and whatnot. So, because some of us are on 
some of us are working on phones all the time that's what I do I work on my phone all the time and before before this computer I, I actually had a computer that I could pinch and pull on and and it was a touch screen so I could have actually zoomed in on on some of the stuff that I wasn't able to zoom in on but um, but I will provide links for the documents that are pertaining to all these places that they want to mine and all these places along the the pipeline route that are um, that are going to be mined along the way. So, like I said, I I um I want people to know this is what's really going on. It's it's not about a pipeline, people. It's not. And the proof is all in the documents. All you have to do is search them out and, and look through and find your area or the areas that are near you and um, and look. So like I said, most of most of the stuff that I'm being sent is in screenshot form. So, um, so I'm not able to magnify them. Because um, I, I just don't have that capability on that screen. So uh, like, like I said, um, email me or shoot me a private message. And I'll, I'll be happy to share those maps with you. Um, if you weren't able to see them large enough on, on a computer screen or whatever. So um, thank you everyone for coming and uh, I'll be doing more shows on this uh, to, to show, um, to show what I have. Uh, everything that I have, I'm, I'm willing to show. So, um, don't give up. Keep up the good fight. And don't allow them to ruin everything that we have. Thank you all and have a good night.